When we work psalm magic, a lot of times the psalms will talk about praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And it's such an odd thing for witches to get into, praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, but when we understand the magical implications of what that means, it makes a lot of sense. Praise is the 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 tool that we have to turn things around. When we use our power of praise, you can you can almost see things changing before your very eyes. When you're praising something, you're acknowledging that it's good. You're acknowledging the what is what is good about it. So like when you're praising a, a dog when it does something, you know, when it when it fetches and it comes, you say, oh, good boy, good girl. You praise a child every time it does, you know, something that, that you want it to learn how to do. Oh, good, good, good. When you're giving somebody a music lesson, yes, yes, that's right, that's right. Good, good, good. So praise is a, is a, a magical tool that not only does it reinforce good behavior, but it seems to increase that which you are praising. So what you are praising tends to increase. And also, if there is something unwanted in in your life, when you find some how to use the, the power of praise, you can change and transform that very thing. Say you're having trouble with money. And let's say maybe you were wanting a raise in your job and you didn't get it. Through the power of praise, you can transform that situation. You can praise your job. You can praise the money you do have. You can praise your expenses, the things that you that you want money for. Like say that you want more money because you want, you know, you want to move into a better home or you want a better car or all of those kinds of things. You can praise those things that you desire. You can praise the money that you do have. You can praise the job that you do have already and watch and see how that starts to transform and change. You want to be systematic about it. You don't want to just do it arbitrarily. You want to be systematic about it. You want to you want to look at whatever is going on in your life and say, well, what is there to praise? What is there to praise? It's one step beyond gratitude in a way. That's another magical tool, you know, that tool of gratitude. But then to take that one step further, when you praise that thing that you're grateful for, you're actually increasing it. You are flooding it with divine energy because you are a divine being. And as a divine being, when you are engaged in divine activities, then those divine activities create divine results. If you're involved in something that doesn't seem so divine, you can change it. You can literally see that base metal turning to gold. Ask a very successful couple, what is the secret to your success? Almost always, there's a lot of praise in that relationship. Rather than coming to your mate with a bunch of criticism and telling them how they didn't do it right and what's wrong with them, you start talking about what you do love about them and what you do appreciate about them. And Every single day, if you are praising your mate and you're praising your relationship, then you're pouring divine energy into that relationship. And that divine energy allows that relationship to transform and to change and to grow and to become more solid and more stable and to become a place of light and and hope and love for not only each other, but for everybody that you touch. Because a lot of times what happens with relationships is we, we think of them as sort of a fortress. So, okay, I'm going to get all my love from this person and then I don't have to worry about anybody else. Well, that's a recipe for failure because what your relationship is there for is to, is to get you primed so that you can take that love out and spread it everywhere you go to every person that you meet. And you don't have to even do that in a demonstrable way. It's something that you do in your mind. So if you, if you have a, a, a relationship that is very solid, then you have the means by which to give even more love everywhere you go. But if your relationship isn't solid, I guarantee you there's probably not a lot of praise going on. So you can start right there. You can start with what you love about that person and make sure that you tell that person what you love about them and why. And that you want to make sure that it's sincere want to make sure that your praise isn't something you're just making up. (laughs) You're sincere about it. 
Maybe there's something about your car. I've, I've done this so many times in the past when I had some car problems. I would start praising my car. I would start, pr- I start praising everything I love about my car. I'm so grateful that this car gets me to where I need to go. I'm so grateful for everything that's happened with me in this car, that I've had it for so long. It's such a good car. And then I start talking to the car as if it's a, if it's a sentient being. You're such a good car. I just love you. You're so beautiful and you get me where I need to go. And I'm just so grateful for for you. And almost always what will happen is if there's a problem with the car, it has happened in the in the past where the where the problem just cleared up, but oftentimes I'll be led into a, a, a to the right place where I can get the service that that car needs, you know, in in a, for a price that I can really afford, or I find a new car. I find a new car and it's almost as if the soul of that car if you will is reincarnated into this new car which of course isn't really what's happening but it's as if it's happening that way because it's through the power of praise that what I love increases that what I love increases and there's nothing wrong with loving your car there's nothing wrong with loving your home with loving your possessions you can go in and if you say you need new clothes you go in you open up your closet and you start praising the clothes that you do love i love this dress i love this shirt i love these pants these are so beautiful and if there's clothes that you don't love and you don't you don't fake it you just get rid of them you just get rid of them. You that you thank them. You say, "I thank you for 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 being here for, for giving me for giving me uh, raiment for so long." And and now I'm going to pass you on to somebody else that will love you, right? That will that will be able to praise you. So you praise those clothes, and in no time at all, you'll get the wardrobe that you do desire. You know, uh, if, if you are having financial trouble, start praising the money that you have. Opening your wallet opening your wallet. Like we do in the basic angel magic course, you can open up your wallet. You can take the money that you do have out like on the new moon and and just let that that new moon light land on all of the bills in your wallet and you turn them over and over again. And while you're doing that, you're praising that money. Now, you don't have to wait till the new moon to do that. You don't have to do it in the moonlight. That's just a, a ritual gesture. Anytime you want to, you can take your money out of your wallet and you can say, I am so grateful for this money. I am praising you. You let me have what I need to have when I need to have it. And I'm so grateful that I have you. And that power of praise allows that increase to occur. And what you, pr- what you praise always increases. What you praise always increases. Now, it can work in reverse. A lot of times what we, lo- what we do is we praise what we can't stand. In, in the tarot, we call that the queen of swords. <laughs> when, you, when you start looking for problems and you start looking for things you don't like about somebody, that's a type of negative praise. That's a type of praising something that you don't want. But remember, the power of praise increases it. So be careful of, of the, the kinds of attitudes that you bring to problems and to uh, issues in relationships and and health problems and financial worries and things like that. You don't want to start talking about your problems as if they, they are some sort of treasure, because that's a type of negative praise. And I don't think a lot of people realize how often they do that when they when they talk about my arthritis or my rheumatism and they pat their their knee with such love and respect, you know, and they and they and they talk about um, uh, somebody else's issues, the things that they don't like about somebody, as if as if that that's some sort of great treasure that they have that they have a grievance of somebody, right? Uh, talking about. Maybe you're, uh, I was doing this the other day. Uh, I noticed that I had a big pet peeve about something. And I, I was talking about it as if like, well, my, I have, that is such a pet peeve of mine. Like, this is such a great thing to have, this owning this pet peeve. Well, if I start praising that pet peeve as if it's so wonderful, then I'm going to have more to be upset about. It's going to bother me more, and there's going to be more pet peeves. So I, 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 I watched that happening, and I just started laughing. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to praise this pet peeve. I'm, just, I'm going to pull my enthusiasm away from that pet peeve. I'm going to pull my praise out of that. I'm going to start praising something that I do want more of, that I do want, I want, I want to increase. 
You see this all the time with so-called negative people. You know, people, oh gosh, she's so negative. Well, the reason why people think that she's negative or he's negative is because they have this sense of almost worship about their problems or worship about attitudes or qualities that they don't like in people. You know, always gossiping about people or always bitching and moaning about people. They have this sense of reverence about their judgments about other people. It's a type of praise. So you want to be careful how much reverence you give these negative qualities because they also will increase. Praise increases anything that it's directed at. It is magical. It is as if you had a magic wand and that magic wand's only programming was to increase what it was pointed at. So watching what you're praising. And a lot of times we don't think of it as praise. We don't think of it as praise. But if you're getting some sort of neurotic pleasure out of talking about a problem or contemplating a problem, that's a type of praise. And you can expect that to start increasing just because that's how it works. Praise causes increase. A lot of times when I talk about this, I haven't talked about praise in a while, but a lot of times when I used to talk about this, people would say, oh, well, that's not true. I praise stuff all the time and it doesn't increase. And I said, well, do you though? Are you really praising it? Or are you trying to get it to increase? So you're faking it. You know, it's it's that that I see that a lot. I see that a lot in magic anyway. There is a fake it till you make it type of wisdom, but a lot of times people don't really praise something. They don't really praise something. They just think they should praise it or they think they should be grateful for something. And that's not the same as being grateful for it. That's not the same as praising it. It's it's that thing that you feel inside your gut where as you contemplate something, as you think of something, you can feel the increase inside you because your enthusiasm for it increases as you consider it. So that, like I said, that can work for your good or for your ill, depending on what you're praising. So watch the power of praise in action. You can do that right now. You can think of something in your life that you want more of. It might be more love. It might be more health. It might be more money. It might be anything at all. In fact, just let that come to mind if you have a moment. Think of something that you want to increase. Now think about what's good about what you already have there. Again, you're trying to increase something. So you already have some of it. This is a type of Jupiter spell, if you will. So start thinking about what you do love about it. What does it bring you? What's it doing for you? What's its essence? Why are you, why do you love it so much? And why do you want more of it? How much do you love it? How much praise can you muster for that thing? How enthusiastic can you get about how good that thing is in your life and how much good it brings you? How excited can you get about that? How happy can you be about that? How much joy can you start to feel when you consider whatever that thing is? That's praise. So when you say praise the Lord... It means praising what's good, praising what's good, not some external deity. That's what a lot of people think of with praise. They think I'm going to flatter some deity or some spirit and that they're going to give me something back in return. That's not magical. That's superstitious. What's magical is working directly with an energy and seeing it happen, just like working with the power of electricity, working with the power of thermodynamics working with the power of aerodynamics, working with natural laws. That's what magic is. So now we're working with the power of praise. So it's through the power of praise that you find increase. So you can go through your entire day every single day before you, you know, before you go to bed and you can look back and you can say, what about my day would I like to see more of? What, what happened today that I want to see more of? And what, can, what happened today that I'd like to see less of? So you can withdraw your praise from those things that you want to see less of. A lot of times when people banish, they get all into it. They get all into the, the whatever the thing is that they want to get rid of, and they don't understand why their banishing spell caused an increase. It's because they were doing a type of praise when they were banishing. They weren't withdrawing their investment in that thing. They were increasing their investment in that thing. 
Whereas you can, when you're going back over your day and you th- see things that you want less of, you can in you can decrease your praise. You can attenuate. You can pull back on uh, your emotional involvement with that thing and starve it out by lack of interest, by lack of attention. Whereas if there's things in your day that you want to see increase, you can praise those things, praise them verbally, praise them mentally, write out praise in a notebook or in or make talismans of praise. Praise the things that you want to increase and do it on a regular and systematic basis. You can give yourself a seven-day diet of nothing but praise, and you can do that for a specific thing if you want to. That is an incredibly powerful spell. And you do nothing but find one thing that you want to increase, and you give it seven straight days of nothing but praise. And you and you set your alarm. You set like a little alarm in your in your phone, and maybe maybe two three times a day, maybe every hour, if you have the ability to be that committed. When that alarm goes off, you have a session of praise, even if it's only for thirty seconds to a minute of that which you want to increase. And then after seven straight days of blasting this thing with praise. You won't have to be convinced of the power of this method because you will see the increase. Any kind of problems that you have, you can praise what is working. So, like for instance, I had a problem with my hand, and I started praising my hand. Look at what I can do with my hand because of the way it was designed. I have so much facility. I have so much agency, if you will, because of of my hands. And my hands allow me to do so many beautiful things. They allow me to, to write. They allow me to eat. They allow me to read tarot cards. They allow me to draw. They allow me to, to do all kinds of things, to drive. And I'm so grateful. And I praise the power of my hands. And so what happened for me was not only did the uh, condition clear up, but I was able, I was led to a particular doctor who was able to not only uh, acknowledge that, that the condition was cleared up, but was able to help me in a way so that it was permanent help me to, to handle that so in a way that it was absolutely permanent. And I don't have that problem anymore, and I haven't had that problem in years. So it was through that power of praise that I was able to have a healing response and then also make that healing permanent. And that happened because of and through the power of praise. People misunderstand, and they think, well, I've got, you know, like a, a disease. So maybe if I praise the disease, (laughs) then somehow it'll transform it. No, remember, what you're praising is what you increase. So you don't want to praise the disease. You want to praise the organ, or you want to praise the system in your body, right? You want to praise that. This isn't a way to avoid getting medical attention, but it is a way for you to make sure that you're led to the right doctors, to the right Uh, medical professionals, to the right places, to the right medications, to the right treatments. It's a catalyst oftentimes for finding a good doctor when you're using the power of praise for healing. Obviously, work within the sphere of influence that you have. You know, so you, you, you're not necessarily even trying for a specific goal through the power of praise. What you're trying to do is experiment within the power of praise to see what kind of increase can occur. Think of it as just an experiment. I'm just going to play with this. Don't think in terms of I want I'm going to use the power of praise so that I can have exactly this and I want this and I want it by then. Let's let that stuff go. And and let's just play with this as a tool. Let's just play with your new wand. You just got a new wand of increase here, right? So let's play with it for for a while and see well what can I use the power of praise to increase? Start with little things. Start with little little things and, and start flooding praise through that magic wand of yours and see what happens. See where you can actually track the increase and say, whoa, this stuff works, right? And let's see, you can also, like we said, you can use it in the opposite way. What am I going to do? How can I decrease what I don't want by withdrawing the power of praise and looking at the kinds of things that you say and the kinds of reverence that you give this problem. You actually want to pull away your enthusiasm on any level from it. And instead, you want to replace the enthusiasm that you had for the problem with its, the enthusiasm that you have for its solution. So through the power of praise, you will find that you have so much power over your life 
It's unbelievable how much power over our lives that we, we can muster. The problem that we all have, all of us have, is that in the midst of certain times, praise is the last thing we feel like, the last thing we feel like mustering. And that's because that's how our egos work. Our egos want to be want us to be disinterested in solutions. They want us to be disinterested in techniques and tools that help us to increase our good. Because if our good is increased, then we no longer are beholden to the ego because the ego can't thwart our progress anymore. Because that's what the ego is here for, is to limit our, our ability to, to have joy, to limit our ability to, um, to see the truth. Because once you see the truth, then the ego gets burned away. The ego has its place here. You know, but if you pl- if you allow your ego to be under the the rulership of your soul, then the ego can be functional here. So it's not so much that we want to completely annihilate the ego because we're not ready for that here. Because in this world we need an ego because this is a world of separation. However, we have to recognize that if we allow the ego free reign, the ego will try to shut us down at every turn because that's what its function here is to limit us. So instead, when when we're in a problem or or something that we need, don't listen to the ego because the ego is going to try to get you to only praise the problem or get enthusiastic about the problem and get very fatigued about the idea of getting enthusiastic about a solution. So instead, you're going to listen to your soul and you're going to find out where you do have genuine praise for something. And then you increase that thing by increasing your praise. And it's like a big dial or a big lever that's going to start turning up the volume of those those vibrations. And those vibrations will vibrate more and more strongly with your praise. And as that happens, you're going to see that thing in the physical world starting to increase more and more. So again, like with everything in magic, always start small so that you don't over overstep because you want your faith to be in tandem with this stuff. But little by little, you're going to see this stuff works and you'll be able to increase that sphere of influence using nothing more than that new magic wand of yours. And that's through the power of of praise. It's a beautiful thing. I hope that you can experiment with that this week and then make it part of your regular magical repertoire. Thank you so much for spending a little time with me today. I so appreciate you. Until next time, blessed be.